One thing that I find extremely valuable is the ability to be able to set reminders for myself using my Google Calendar. I call it my augmented memory because, quite frankly, without it, I wouldn't remember certain events and things I needed to do during the day. So, let's go ahead and go to that calendar app. That's where I put mine, right where I can get it at the bottom. And here I have it in week view. You can view by month, which I don't see how you'd navigate that. I think by like three days. Anyway, the point is, here is this week. And you could see right there, it's highlighted in blue what day that it is right now. Um, and let's go ahead and set a reminder or an event for tomorrow, which would be uh, the 12th of October. And let's set it for the morning time. How about 8 a.m.? All right, you tap it two times. And here you go. You have the various pieces of this that you can alter. Um, first things first is the title of the event. It's up. Let's just say test. Okay. It's a test. Done. This is a junk email account, so I don't answer it. Anyway, um, so there are different choices as far as uh, you know how you can set this first thing all day it will block that out say that you're doing it all day let's say you're going to a conference or something like that and it's going to be the whole day you press that we don't want it all day we want it to be on thursday october 12th 2017 at let's say it's not exactly 8 a.m okay let's say it's 8 05 or no, okay, 06 a.m., okay. And it goes until, this says 9.06 a.m. Let's change that. Make it until 9.03 a.m., okay. And you also can go in here and change it till the 14th or whatever other date you want to change it to. Let's go ahead and move it back. And there are more options here. Press more options. You can change down here um, to a different, uh, a different time setting. Um, this one is very helpful. It says does not repeat. Go ahead and press that. You have different choices. Does not repeat every day every week, every month, every year. The every year one is really helpful when remembering, trying to remember somebody's birthday. Just go ahead and put in there, you know, say, hold up, Sarah's birthday on that particular date, let's say it's tomorrow, and just press every year, and you'll be reminded of that if you set it up right. Um, you can go to custom. This is pretty cool. Repeats weekly. Repeats daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. And let's say every one week. Let's do it every four weeks. Okay, that's pretty cool. And we'll have it be on Tuesday. Okay. And you have the choice forever. It'll do that forever until you stop it. Or until the date say sure until um until november 22nd 2017 um for a number of events for one event okay anyway let's go ahead and uh, be done with this i'm actually going to take that off say so does not repeat but so those are a lot of choices that you have um, you can add a location uh, let's see, let's, how about, uh, Nick Donalds, oops, Donalds, 
the McDonald's in Champaign, Illinois. That's where we're going to meet up. Pulls up the address, puts it there. That's helpful to have, and I'll show you in a minute why. Notification. You want to add a notification. Um, say you want it to be 10 minutes before, you can do it however many minutes you want. 30 minutes before, so you have plenty of time to get to that McDonald's. All right, you can do hours before, days before, weeks before. We're going to do minutes before. 30 minutes before. You don't want to be late. Okay. Check. You can do it as notification, so it'll pop up in your notification pane up here. Or you can do it as an email. That's helpful sometimes because it'll kind of stay stuck and you'll have to check your email. Sometimes I'll do both. Lately I've been doing mostly notifications that show up in the notification panel or pane, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's really important. I'll do both or I'll do multiple notifications. So we'll do 30 minutes before as email. Done. Let's do another notification. Add another one. Let's do it uh, one day before as email. Okay, so it'll remind us as an email that we have that McDonald's uh, appointment. And how about we invite somebody? And you can go ahead. I don't really want to put in right here because I'll pull up my contacts, but you go ahead and type in that person's uh you know, email, contact, whatever. Invite them to meet you at that McDonald's. Let's put a note. What are we going to do there? We're meeting Greg. Oops. Yep, meeting Greg. All right. You'll know who you're meeting up with. Save that. All right. Now let's see what we have here. That's a test. Okay, I guess... We probably should put uh, breakfast at that time. Breakfast. All right, done. Breakfast at McDonald's. 30 minutes before his email, one day before his email. Yeah, we could invite this Greg, but uh, I'm not going to pull it up. You can figure that out. Um, there it says we're meeting Greg. Um, oh, default color. You can choose a different color to make it just really stand out to you because it's important, all right? So how about since it's so important, we'll pick tomato, all right? Boom. How can you miss that? Let's save this thing, all right? Bingo. Breakfast tomorrow, 8.06 to 9.03. Don't be late. We can't be because it's going to tell us 30 minutes before. Obviously, it would tell us one day before which would technically be today. Anyway, you get the idea. You'd normally be setting this in advance. And we're going to meet Greg. Here's the cool thing. We have the address in there. Boom. Press it. It'll take you right to your maps. And it'll take you to the location of McDonald's. I don't really want to do it right now. But the point is, that's how you do it. Put in the address. You can, you can tap on it. It'll take you to the map. You can get directions from wherever you are to be able to meet Greg at the McDonald's. It's a helpful feature, and uh, you can do these these for anything. So here's another one we could do. Um, let's go ahead and do it at 11 o'clock. All right. How about uh, I wouldn't normally do this at this time, but feed the dog. Done. Remind me. All right, it's 11 a.m. And we'll add a notification. Uh, new custom. Let's do zero minutes before. As notification. Done. All right. Feed the dog. It's going to remind me tomorrow 
at the time of event. So at 11 a.m. it's going to tell me to feed the dog. telling you, this stuff is invaluable. You should really use that feature. Um, I never used a paper calendar, and I wouldn't use one simply because I can carry this around wherever I am. It's going to sync with uh, the desktop, you know, for your calendar and Gmail, and it'll notify you of these things, and it's pretty simple to use. You play around with it and see how it can help you in your day-to-day -day life. And uh, yeah, give it a try. And I hope you learned. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Hope you like this video. Let me know. And any other things that you'd like to see uh, me cover, basic Android user stuff, just let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.